In this problem, we're being asked to use a graphing calculator to find the zeros of a quadratic function. And remember, the zeros of a quadratic function are the places where it crosses the x-axis. So using a graphing calculator for this should be pretty easy. We don't have to fool around with factoring or anything like that. So I've got 4x squared plus 2x minus 3. And I'm going to pop into this graphing calculator. So y equals 4x squared. Uh, was that minus 3x? Plus 2x minus 3. So plus 2x minus 3. All right, so there is my quadratic. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to see the whole thing. And this graphing calculator uh, finds the, um, the zeros at, and gives us the values right here. So we got negative 1.151. And our problem says to go to the nearest hundredth. So negative 1.15 is good enough. And we've got 0.65. Okay. So we'll put a comma here and 0.65. So those are the zeros of this quadratic function.